Welcome to the next lesson in the Wysis Form Studio video training series. Today we are going to discuss creating a new project in Form Studio. So I'm going to start by launching Form Studio from the desktop shortcut that we created in a previous lesson. And I'm going to select my database. And you'll notice Form Studio presents you with a list of recently used projects. What is a project? A project is a parent for grouping together a collection of forms similar to a bill of material. Projects can contain both Agility Design Studio components and Agility Form Studio forms. For this purpose of this lesson, we are only going to focus on Form Studio forms. For example, if we were to open the WMS version 4 project here, you'll see where there's multiple forms contained within this one project. So if we do file open project again and open the WMS pop project, here it doesn't appear as if there's any forms because we're looking at the distribution tab. So we would need to select the pop tab and you'll see there's multiple forms associated with this project. So basically this project contains the pop forms the previous project under the distribution tab contained the distribution forms. So we as a company have organized our forms by the tabs that appear in Agility Mobile. So if we go back to Open Project, there's also a tab that will show you all projects and the security levels. Any project with a WISIS developer level of security can be opened by a customer or a reseller in viewed, but they are not modifiable. Any project that you develop would need to be under the administrator user rights. If you want to develop your own forms or modify existing forms, the best practice is going to be to create a new project. You wouldn't want to create new forms inside of a WISIS project because the next time you update your version of WISIS by running the product updater, that project is likely to be overwritten and you would lose any work that you, you added to that project. So it's always a best practice to click the new project button and create your own project for storing your, for copying existing forms and modifying them or creating new forms. So I'm going to name my project Wysis Form Studio Training and click OK. And here you'll see Form Studio opens and there's no forms or anything yet to be cr created yet in our project. And we will cover creating a new form in a later lesson. So this concludes the lesson on creating a new project in Form Studio.